Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter, specifically how we can find areas to use to solve for those types of problems, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So let's start with a basic rectangle. And I'm going to do it on grid paper just so we can kind of make that connection between our formula and what we actually see. So if we wanted to find uh, the perimeter of this particular rectangle, you know, we would just count all the way around. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll say seven on the top, seven on the bottom, and one, two, three, four on each side. So perimeter is going to equal the seven plus four plus seven plus four. So that's going to make 22 units. But how could we solve that with an equation? Well, you notice that we double the 7 and we double the 4. I've got a 7 here and a 7 here. So one of the equations that we're going to need to know about perimeter is going to be 2 times L. Sometimes it's capital L. Sometimes it's lowercase l. And then you add that to, you notice we double the width here as well. 2 times the width. So what that looks like would be this. You would say P equals 2 times, and then my length is 7. So I'm going to put this in parentheses right here. This parentheses is going to show you that it's multiplication between 2 and 7. If you don't do parentheses, it's just going to look like the number 27. That's going to be confusing. So one way that we show multiplication, we can use the X if we want to, but we can also just use parentheses. That also means multiply. So now I'm going to multiply 2 times 4 because that's my width. So one of the things that we're going to learn in fifth grade is the order of operations. But what we need to know now is simply you always multiply first and you always add second, even if the addition comes before this multiplication. So this 2 times 7, that's going to be 14. 2 times 4, that's going to be 8. But 14 and 8 don't show up here. But look what happens when we add the 2. 14 and 8 is going to be the same thing, the 22 units. So that's going to be important for us to remember. I'll write this equation over here. P equals double the length plus double the width. Now let's look at area. Area is the number of little squares, usually imaginary. Sometimes you can actually see the squares inside of an object. So if I were to count, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. And I just see I've got 4. So I'm going to do 4, and then 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So I'm going to say A equals 28. There's two ways to write it. You can write the square units with SQ units. Or sometimes you can just write 28 units, because we don't know whether it's feet, meters, inches, and that little 2 means squared. So what's the formula for area? Well, you notice I skip count by 4 because my width is 4. How many times did I skip count by 4? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Area is a really simple um, equation to use. It's length times width. So sometimes you see the LW next to each other. Sometimes you see the dot. You can even see the parentheses. You're just going to take your L times your W. So when we do that, that's going to equal 4 times 7, and that's going to make 28 units squared. So the other formula that we're going to need to keep in mind is going to be A equals length times width. Let's see what it looks like with a square. So the area and perimeter equations that we just learned for the rectangles, they'll work for squares, because squares are special types of rectangles. So if I wanted to use this perimeter, I would say 2 times 5 plus 2 times 5. So that's going to be 10 and 10. That's going to be 20, because it's just 5, 10, fits and 20. You can use the rectangle perimeter, but you can also do a special one, and it's the equation is 4s. You could just take the side and multiply it times 4, because that's what we did. The area is going to be length times width, so that's going to be 5 times 5, which is 25. But another thing we can do is we can just say the side times itself, side squared. So s 
with a little 2 or s times s.